so this person is um, has lost their job because of coronavirus, and they're not sure if they're eligible for the uh, the government benefit. So I'm going to pretend to be from uh, Centrelink and say that they are not eligible for the government for the. And I just got the away with a cheeky piss in the bottle. Fuck. Shit! <laughs> Michael fell down. Michael fell down. <sighs> Shit! Right. I fucked the green screen up. All right, here we go. I'm calling Ooh, Adrian, and I'm um, I'm Sam from Centrelink. <laughs> hello. Um, hello. Am I speaking with Adrian? Yes, you are. Hey, mate. I'm Sam. I'm uh, from Centrelink, and um, we're just doing the rounds and just calling a few people who have applied for the uh, the, the government benefit. Um, mm-hmm. ha- have you got a second at all? Yeah, sure. Great. So, um, yeah, well, we're just calling to uh, to give you a bit of an update. And um, <coughs> it, it looks like uh, that because you were uh, working in uh, in the gaming industry, that, that, uh, that you're not actually eligible for any benefits. And, um, and, and only a rule that's been passed very recently, and, and you're, you're part of a very unfortunate few, you actually have to uh, pay for your... Uh, application submission so it, it's a cost of uh, three hundred dollars of just some admin fees that Centrelink has to sort of you know process your application all that sort of stuff so um, unfortunately you're not eligible due to the industry you're working in and you will ha- um, be spare. receiving a uh, three hundred dollar a bill for that which I know is probably not something that you wanted to hear okay so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be sending that through soon and you'll sort of have um, five business days to pay that and then that sort of jumps up to, um, it, it, it doubles and a half. So, it'll be up to $750 there if you don't pay that within five business days. So, I'm sorry, just, just to clarify with you. So, I have to pay a $300, but that, does that, sorry, what, what does that, what am I paying three hundred dollars for? Do you understand what I'm sort of getting? At? Yeah, yeah, sure. So, so that just covers the covers the admin fees, uh, the processing fees. So, when everyone submits an application, they, you know, someone on our end has to go through and and do cross the eyes and, and dot the t's, if you will. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah and, I understand that. Yeah, so it's just. And that's, I'm, I'm just. Uh, you, no, you're. You're. Right, I'm not. I'm just trying to wrap my head around what you're telling me right now. That's what I'm trying to do. So yeah. I have to pay a three hundred dollar admin fee. Yep. But at, so does that mean I still get the, the, the benefit that I've applied for or I'm not getting that? Is that what you're saying? Well, because of the industry that you're in and you, you were working uh, in, a, in, a, in a, a gaming room, is that correct? Yeah, correct. Yeah, so, so because it's gambling, uh, pe- anyone in the gaming industry is not eligible uh, for, for any sort of benefits at all. And it's sort of, um, it, to, to be honest, it's a bit frowned upon. Uh, the, the gaming industry is... Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's quite difficult to receive any benefits at all, just because the gaming community sort of like ruins lives. So it's it's yeah, it's, uh, well, I'm, I'm, that's debatable, but yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's sort of um, I know I, I know it was, would be hard to hear right now, but yeah, it's I, I like I, I've just been calling people all day and just letting them know, like yeah, you're sorry, you're not. Well, I, I, I debate the gaming ruins lives, but you know anyway. I don't want to get well, to well people do it. people do get addicted to gambling and so, so yeah, on. Yeah, people so. get addicked to to alcohol, mate. Like, it, yeah. like anyway, I don't want to. Yeah, sorry. I'm just so. Hang on, you're telling me that I have to pay a three hundred dollar admin fee and I'm not eligible for a benefit. Is that what you're telling me? So I'm paying three hundred dollars to not receive a benefit. Is well, that what you're telling me? Well, the three hundred dollars is for the application submission that that you sent through. And um, yeah, unfortunately, your application was denied. So yeah, you won't be receiving any benefits whatsoever. So I've applied for a benefit that I'm not eligible to receive and I have to pay a $300 fee to apply for it. And pay within five business days, otherwise... And pay within five business days. So I have to pay $300 within five business days to receive no benefit at all. Well, what you're telling me. Yeah, well, well, it's not to receive no benefit, but it's separate to the the benefit itself. So you're you're having to pay three hundred dollars because you're because of the application that you submitted, um, and it says that it says that on the very uh, fine print 
at the bottom of the the website of, on my gov there it says actually there you you are susceptible to um fees. admin fees in your adding to the problem yeah yeah so yeah you know the, the processing fee so if you were eligible yeah it'd be, it would be okay but um you know like i said the, the gaming industry it's, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a gray area and um well it's a bit so, of a dark area yeah, no, I, mean, yeah, I understand you, you're doing your job i'm not i'm not arguing with i'm just i'm sorry who am i speaking to to sam my Sam, name, and, yeah. and who are you calling from? Like, who am I actually talking to right now? I'm very sorry. I'm just, I'm trying to wrap my head around what's going on right now. Totally. And you're from, from where? Totally understand. I'm calling on behalf of Centrelink. So, I work at one of the so Centrelink. So, you're from Centrelink? Yes, exactly. Okay. And so, you're saying my application has been denied. Yeah. And I have to pay a $300 admin fee within five days of, of receiving the bill. That is correct, and you should receive the bill uh, shortly after our conversation is terminated. And, and how will I be receiving that bill? Just via by email. email or no, that'll be via email. So yeah, it'll, by it'll, email. Yes, correct. And that's purely because I'm in it, working in a gaming industry. Well, your your, so appli- your application doing, was denied what you because of your job. You, you know, look, look at you know, you know, it's sort of. It makes sense Obviously. because you're sort of contributing to more financial loss for a lot of people. So, it, you know, the the government sort of comes down hard on anyone who works in the gaming industry exclusively. So, yeah, the application was denied because of that. And then also just the processing fee of your application took a little while. So, that, that's where the $300 admin fee comes in. Um, okay, I'm very confused. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I, like obviously, I know. I know it's a you know not a phone. Call. It's not. It's not an easy phone call for either of us. But at the end of the day, you're working in an industry that is a quite poisonous and takes money from innocent people. So, we, we, <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? You're actually saying this to me right now. Well, it's. It, are you are you serious? It's it's sort of what we've been what we've been instructed to say. Look, I've I've had I've had this. That I work in a poisonous industry that's taking money from innocent people. It. Okay, well that's more of a personal opinion, and I've got friends that's, who are addicted well, to. You've just you said that. That's literally what you just told me. Look, look, I've 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 got friends and family who have gambling problems. Okay, and and All right, I'm, and I'm personally responsible for that, am I? Well, look, yes. you you work in an industry that that does this sort of thing to people. You know what I mean? So it's it's yeah. I'm sorry, you are responsible. <laughs> it's hearsay. I'm responsible for that. No, any everyone who contributes to the industry is is contributing to the problem, as far as I'm concerned. Wow, that's this is a pretty unprofessional phone call I'm having right now with all due respect Sam um, I'm going to hang up now um, wait before you leave there's one last thing I need to tell you mm-hmm. it's a prank call okay your friend says <laughs> your friend has set you up you're actually on the Marty and Michael podcast <laughs> and um, you have not your application has not been denied and I'm definitely not from fucking Centrelink <laughs> <laughs> sorry dude <laughs> oh, dude sorry to stress you out we're just you, you haven't stressed me out. I was just about you were to very, a lot of very angry phone calls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you typing. You were typing away at the conversation recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, just, props uh, to you because it was fucking uh, utter this bullshit. Is the most unprofessional <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm calming down now. It's okay. Yeah, mate, yeah, I'm, you, I'm, I'm certain you'll get your receipt. And mate, good on you for fucking. For, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're just trying to stir you <laughs> up, but you didn't fucking buy at all yeah no worries mate lovely to meet you good, l- good luck with everything hey no thank you good luck to you guys stay safe no um, no worries stay. awesome no thanks worries, mate so. see you later all right have a good one bye <laughs> next week we'll be smoking shards of meth oh. mm. oh. so for that. and don't forget that we well well, well simply we are the best, best. we're the best, best. <laughs> We're the best. 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 We're the best.